Welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Robot Studio Getting Started series. In this tutorial, we will open the project from our previous tutorial. Delete the existing path and targets. Import a library. Visualize the work envelope of the robot and position our library. Then we will create a work object, create few targets. Modify their orientation using copy apply orientation feature. We will create a path and use auto configuration feature. Finally, we will simulate the robot to move along the created path and save our project. Let's get started. Open the project from the file tab. Once the controller status is shown green, we know that our controller is up and running. Click on the controller on the left. Click on TROB1, and then on Path and Procedures. We can see our Path 10 which we created in our previous tutorial. Now we will delete the path. Right click on the path and click on Delete. Path 10 gets deleted. Now let's delete the targets that are still visible in the station. To do that, click on Work Objects and Targets on the left. Click on Work Object 0, and we can see that our targets are visible. Select all targets and right-click to delete them. Now we import a new library into the station. Click on Import Library from the Home tab. We will import another training object, let's import this propeller table. We can use the Move and Rotate tool to reposition our table in the station. We can also visualize the work envelope of our robot, and then accordingly reposition other objects in the station. The work envelope refers to the space within which the robot arm can operate. It's defined by the robot's reach and joint limits. Click on Layout Browser. Right-click on the robot and we can visualize the option for Show Work Envelope. Once clicked, we can see the 2D outline of the robot's work envelope. We can click on 3D volume to visualize it 3D. We can see that, our work piece that is the propeller table, is a little outside the work envelope of our robot. Let's use the Move and Rotate tool to reposition it accordingly. We can right-click on the robot, to uncheck the option Show Work Envelope. Now let's create a work object. A work object is a coordinate system used to describe the position of a work piece. The work object consists of two frames, a user frame and an object frame. All programmed positions will be related to the object frame, which is related to the user frame, which is related to the world coordinate system. Go to Other and select Create Work Object, and give it a name. Choose Frame by Points and select the three-point method, we will select the Surface Selection tool to select the surfaces on our work piece. We will also select the Snap Edge tool, to snap the edges of the same. Now let's click on the three corners of the work piece, to define the work object coordinate system. Click Create and check the work object under Paths and Targets. Here we can see that our work object 1 has been created. Now let's create some targets associated with our new work object. We will use the surface selection and snap end tools to create targets. Click on target under the home tab, and click on create target. Now we will create four targets on the edges of the part of the work piece. After selecting four points on the part, Click on Create. This will create targets on those points. We can see that targets 10, 20, 30 and 40 are created. We can right-click on our first target and select a View Robot at Target, or View Tool at Target. This will show us current orientation of our tool, at the respective target. We can clearly see that our tool is oriented in the opposite direction. Let's rectify that by right-clicking on Target and clicking on Modify Target, and then select Rotate. We will rotate the target by 180 degrees along the Y-axis. Now the robot tool is oriented correctly as we expect. 
It is also necessary to reorient our other targets. We can do that by right-clicking on Target 10, and select to copy the position and orientation in Relative World. Then we can select our other targets, and right-click to apply the orientation only. After the orientation has been applied, our robot tool is able to reach the targets from the expected direction. Now we will create a path using the created targets. Select all targets, right-click and select Add to a new path. Our path 10 has been created with the targets according to the instruction template set. We can add or remove instructions from the path. We can also modify our instructions like their speed data and zone data. We can now use the Auto Configuration feature, which allows automatic definition of the optimal robot configuration for a whole path in just one click. Select Path 10 and right-click to find the Auto Configuration feature. We can then select Linear or Circular Move Instructions or All Move Instructions. The Auto Configuration feature is a powerful tool, that helps to automatically define the robot arm configuration, for a complete path. We will quickly teach another instruction, which will be the home position for our robot and add it to our path. After the home position instruction is added to our path, let's simulate this by right-clicking on the path, and select Move Along Path. The Move Along Path feature allows a robot to follow a predefined path, which is a series of targets or points, ensuring the robot moves through each point in the sequence. Let's conclude this tutorial by saving our project. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.